Hey guys, what's good? Welcome back to the show. It's Beaker. It's Lulu. We're back for Beaker's Lab. How are you guys? Hey, today we're going to go a little WikiLeaks here on Clash. We're going to show you guys some brand new leaked top secret classified documents about the next coming update and guys this is the little stuff that they don't want you to know it's it's the price reductions it's the cost reductions it's the real good stuff for everybody no matter what town hall you are and you know that is the main thing people talk about during an update yo what's for me what's for me the town hall eight the town hall nine guys this all all this stuff here it's gonna affect you. It's gonna be pretty dope. And if you haven't got the joke by now, this is not like stolen info. I didn't like, me and Lulu didn't like fly to Helsinki and steal this info. Th they gave it to me. So guys, right here, we have the, the thing that I think is the craziest thing, the coolest thing, the best thing for my life, cause I love walls. Guys, walls have been discounted. You can see it up there. That's like the only words you need to read, right? Walls have been discounted. Why won't it stay there? I want you to stay there. Walls have been discounted. But guys, down at the bottom, you can actually see the amounts and they're crazy. A while ago, they did this. They did this kind of exact same thing. They they removed the uh, about a million from each of the the top costing walls, and you can see right there. I always forget it's backwards. You can see right there. A million is getting taken off the two most expensive walls again. Well, except for eleven to twelve. What's up there? <laughs> I don't care. I don't want. I don't want level twelve walls anyway. So who cares, guys? This is crazy because this allows everybody, whether you've started uh, six months ago or six years ago, well, you get my point. To to catch up, to really catch up on walls and you know defenses. We're gonna see that later, but everything is kind of getting a little uh, a boost in cost. That's not what I meant. Reduction in cost, you get what I mean. And guys, right here, we got uh, going along with that same sort of idea. We've got the treasury is gonna be increased so you can hold a little more. And that I think is needed already, but it's definitely needed because all the loot that we're getting is increasing. This is the real cool one, guys. I should have started with this one because look at this. Look at it, look, look at the legendary bonus. That's the star bonus, guys. That's the star bonus you get for getting, what, it's five stars, right? You get almost a million of each resource if you're in legendary. And let's go down to like normal people. Like, you know, you and you and I were probably around masters or champion or even lower. I mean, even if you're in crystal, you're going to get massive, massive star bonus. But if you're in champion one, which I think anybody can farm in champion one. Uh, hi, I'm 700k gold. I'm 700k elixir. What's good? It's crazy, man. It's, it's just madness. So let's go down. And you can see right here, the war loot has been increased as well. This one I'm not so excited about because it's a small increase. You can see winning is now increased from 600% to 700%. Cool. Okay, got it. Uh, percentage for draws is increased and the percentage uh, for losses is increased. I think the loss one is very good and then the draws one is very good because I think in any game, like you should get uh, points for defending and like, that's not exactly defending, but you get my point. You, you should get something because you spent two days doing the war. I mean, you get you should get something out of it. So that's pretty cool. I mean, you're not going to get like half of the loot, but you're going to get something. Cool. So right here, guys, this is where we're getting really interesting into specific things like the lightning spell. The lightning spell has been pretty bunk for a while now. Have you used the lightning spell? Like, I think the last time I used the lightning spell was, I don't know. I, I'm drawing a blank here. Uh, look, at the bottom, you can see it's pretty much getting boosted by 50%, roughly. You're getting 65 more damage per hit on each uh, uh, on each max lightning spell. And you can see that goes from 95 up to 160. Now, it's so weird looking at this in numbers. It's not as effective in our heads. It, it'd be better to see this in, in real time, in real action. But I think this honestly describes it better because like, that's a lot. Now let's keep going guys, the other spells are getting some buffs too. The free spell has been rebalanced. I would call it a buff, but okay, rebalanced. The housing space is down to one. So now instead of being two, it is one. That's pretty cool. Trading cost is reduced. Uh, trading cost and time, of course, is reduced. Donation cost reduced, but the duration is also reduced. So you're gonna have basically like the equivalent of like a freeze dark spell. You know, a dark spell is always a little weaker, but it only takes one space. And it's a it's sort of a tiny add-on spell. That's what the free spell is gonna be. I don't think it's gonna cost Dark Elixir. You know, I don't mean to mislead you. I'm just saying that's gonna be dope. I'm excited about that. Even if it lasts only four seconds, because right now I think a max free spell lasts eight, right? Eight seconds. I think I would assume the max one's gonna last four seconds now. We'll see. But still, that's amazing, dude. You don't need eight seconds. Eight seconds is a long time. One, two, three. Seven, 
I, I don't need that. I don't need that in my life. So look, I'm happy about this. Uh, uh, that's great. Uh, something I could really care less about is the clone spell. Okay, cool. Housing space requirement is reduced to three. Still not gonna use it. Still, why don't you make it one? And then, and then I'll use it. Like really, I think they should have made the clone spell two spaces. What are they so worried about? Are, are they worried that we're all gonna start using the clone spell? Just like, if they make it two spaces, we're just gonna only use clone spells from now on? I don't think so. I think the rage spell is always gonna be the king of spells. And I think the heal spell is gonna be a close second and, and then jump the third. And you're never gonna change that even if you make the clone spell better. So look, they're trying, I get it. I think the clone spell is gonna be way better, but I'm still not gonna use it. Peace. Uh, okay, down here guys, you can see defenses. All available buildings must be placed before you're able to upgrade to the next town hall. In case you didn't get that, that's like the that's unprecedented, dude. So a long time ago, they sort of made a warning when you went to upgrade your town hall. It's like, hey, don't rush. <laughs> don't be a noob, don't rush. But that has sort of changed over the years and now people intentionally rush to become engineered and, and sort of get an edge in war, try to be a town hall 11 and have crazy troops, but not the defenses. You all know about this. So this is basically gonna try to stop that. I mean, it is gonna stop that. And the, the funny thing is like, a lot of us are already breaking these rules. Like I don't have all the buildings. I, I'm on my mini account anyway, I'm a town hall 10, but I didn't build all the town hall nine buildings at all. Uh, so it's, it's kind of cool to see this. I think I'm gonna, uh, I think I'm gonna go with it. I think I'm gonna just start building up my base, be a normal base, who cares? Let's just play the game and, and just see how it goes. I mean, I have multiple accounts, so if I wanna play differently, I'll just switch up accounts, but I, I don't really feel like I need to cheese the system anymore. You know what I mean? We'll see, we'll, we'll see how it goes, guys. I know that's gonna upset some people because how you wanna play is how you wanna play, and I do agree with that. I think we should be able to play however we want, but if this is coming, great. Let's just do it, you know what I mean? Uh, we've got a couple buffs here for uh, defenses, you can see. Uh, Inferno Tower is probably the one I'm most excited about. Single and multi-mode damage increased. I think the multi was the only one that needed an increase. Because the multi is sort of fallen on hard times right now. Multi Inferno is like, hey, you guys remember me? I used to cook hogs for you, and now you never use me anymore. Oh, what's up? Hi, I'm still here. So yeah, I, I would like to see that. The single doesn't need any help. What are you, what are you doing? The single lights you up in uh, one second now. So now it's gonna be 0.99 seconds. Great, cool. Oh my God, I just saw this. I didn't see this before, dude. Remove the extra damage to golems? That's dope, dude. Golems are back. I didn't realize that. I didn't even see this. So guys, that's pretty cool. A long time ago, I remember doing a video on this and it was freaky thinking about three times damage to golems. Cause the best thing about a golem is it lasts forever. You drop it and that stupid guy just, he does work for you. He does work and he doesn't quit and he doesn't complain. And, and those Eagle artilleries really messed it up. You know, made me use giants for a long time. That's awesome. Uh, this sucks. Just gonna say that. What? You're gonna nerf the healer? I mean, it's not a lot, but it is, right? Like, that sucks. <laughs> I'm glad they didn't make like the level five, just nerf it so hard that it was like level four, you know? But still like level four healers are not gonna be quite as good anymore. And level five are definitely not gonna be as good. It's gonna be noticeable. Uh, the miner is getting increased speed. I love that. That was, I don't know. I, I always thought they, you know, when hogs first came out, they were so fast and unstoppable. And I want miners to kind of be like that. Um, they also reduced the, the, the time for the miner to pop back up. And that was the biggest nerf that they did on those, on those guys. So that's pretty cool. Giant is getting a almost unnoticeable buff. Um, Bowler is getting, again, an a almost unnoticeable nerf. Uh, Pekka's getting a little bit of a, of a buff, but really, um, you can see the cost is getting reduced and it's pretty good. I mean, down from 55 to 37, that's pretty good on the max one. I think it's the same thing with dragons. So all in all, they're trying to just make things cheaper for us and quicker and Lulu, you're throwing stuff at me. Can you not do that? Cool. Um, so this is, this is confusing. W what's up with the, what's up with the greater than, less than? Okay, so level three is getting more HP. Wait, they're gonna do double DPS, but they're gonna have one less skeleton. 
Oh, wait, so everyone's gonna have w the same amount of skeletons. Okay, I see now. Everybody's gonna have four skellies. What's up? Builder base, builder base. Cool, just a couple small things there, but uh, nothing that really affects me. Added 20 wall pieces to builder hall level eight. I'm not even there yet, so cool. And super pack had decreased their death damage. Yeah, that that's, doesn't apply to me yet. So guys, this is pretty cool. Uh, let us know what you think in the comments below, what your guys' favorite uh, thing was. And if you guys are concerned about anything, let us know that. I think I really like the, um, the, the wall cost going down. And I really like the star bonus going up. I always thought that league bonuses and star bonuses should just be massive. To just make it so you don't even have to farm. And, and it's getting that way. It's getting close to that at this point. I shouldn't even have to look for a base with loot. I should just be able to attack anybody and get a good amount of loot, you know? So if you want a trophy bush, if you want to just mess around, it doesn't matter. You're going to be getting loot either way. So I think that's great, guys. I think uh, all this stuff is great. But again, let us know what your favorite thing is in the comments below. Cool, cool. Anyway, um, WikiLeaks out. We're done here. Uh, if you guys did enjoy it, let us know in the comments below. We'll see you next time. Peace.